Welcome to Ilembe District Municipality as it works towards Vision 2027. To be a world-class African destination with excellent services and quality of life for its people. Situated on the east coast of KwaZulu-Natal, Ilembe is set to become the mid-rand of the province. The N2 National Highway running from Durban through Richards Bay to Swaziland and Mozambique dissects the district. Ilembe strives to involve business in functional regional economic decision making. Enterprise Ilembe is a one-stop shop for any investors in the municipality to ensure that all business activities are as effortless as possible. Three distinct development zones exist. The coastal strip with its residential and tourism components. The inland corridor which is influenced by the existence of major commercial agricultural activities and the rural hinterland. The King Shaga Airport and Dube Trade Port, currently being developed, are pivotal to the district's future success. The development has created immense opportunities for growth and stimulation of economic initiatives. Spin-offs include high-value manufacturing, business and logistics parks, research and technology parks, warehousing and distribution centers, entertainment and shopping, hotels and residential development. The diverse culture of this region has been shaped by people from three continents, Africa, India and Europe, offering a unique vibrancy to the municipality. The main drivers of the economy are manufacturing, agriculture, tourism and services sectors. The excellent climate with plenty of sunshine and rain allows for a variety of year-round agricultural activities. A pilot project for the province focusing on agriculture in rural areas will ensure that Ilembe will receive carbon credits. Sugarcane farming is the dominant agricultural business. Supporting agricultural activities include forestry, fruit and vegetable farming, tunnel farming and flowers. Potential crops include grapes, pineapples and palms. The high-value fishery sector has potential for the establishment of fish farms. Emerging farmers are growing products such as chilies and paprika. These are delivered to African Farms agri-processing plant. The chilies are processed and find their way onto supermarket shelves all over the country as well as in local restaurants. Ilembe also proposes the establishment of an essential oils hub. Thyme, rosemary and lavender production could take place in many areas. These successful pilot projects have emphasized the need for an integrated agri-processing facility for products like subtropical fruit, vegetables and grains, dairy, meat, cotton, wool, sisal, leather, wood and medicinal plants. The manufacturing sector comprises heavy industries such as sugar and paper mills. The compensation Belito area, north of the future airport, has been identified as a likely economic opportunity zone. There are several high-quality mini factories and standalone factory warehouse developments for lease or purchase. Isitebe Industrial Estate continues to be an effective manufacturing hub, offering cost-effective production space to prospective investors. Adjacent to this development are large tracts of tribal land and a willing labor force. The municipality has the means to train skilled people through the use of the services CETA. The use of this land for industrial development is available for a public-private partnership with tribal authorities. Private land is also available at low cost to those preferring to operate independently, as 100% foreign-owned equity is allowed. Ilembe is at the heart of South Africa's logistics platform. The submarine telecoms cable systems connecting South Africa to the rest of Africa has two landing points, Mtunzini in Ilembe and the Western Cape. The connections to the submarine cables foster a sustainable call center industry and the development of ICT hubs. The implications are security, education, hospitals, economic development, business development, community participation and primary education in rural areas, sales of excess capacity to third parties. The tourism sector has consistently grown and offers cultural, heritage, beach and nature-based tourism. Ilembe was the praise name for King Shaga, 
A 106 meter high statue of King Shaga is to be erected, which will be the biggest iconic statue in the world and is destined to become one of the most visited tourism landmarks in Africa. The statue will also include support facilities such as a museum, conference center, an upmarket ethnic hotel with world-class finishes, a shopping center, craft stalls and a restaurant. Blythdale Coastal Resort, an integrated resort scheme, was recently launched. Accommodation ranging from 450 social houses to very upmarket houses will be developed. The Associated Sporting School of Excellence will offer soccer, cricket as well as rugby with training by the Dolphins or Sharks coaches for future sporting stars. Developments such as Palm Lakes, Hilltop Zimbali and Simbiti Estates illustrate the potential in the region for high-end residential accommodation and entertainment. The IFA Hotels and Resorts, Fairmont Zimbali Hotel and Resort offers the ultimate in luxury accommodation. The development of a 28-bed lodge is proposed in the immediate vicinity of the Guashushu Hot Springs. The commerce and services sector is found in all the main urban centers throughout the district, especially in Guadugusa and Belito. It incorporates wholesale, retail trade, transport, storage, communication, financial, insurance, real estate, business, community, social, personal services, government services. Rapid growth and an influx of low and high income groups in the region is creating exciting new opportunities and markets to complement the variety of lifestyles. In addition, there is plenty of office space for rent in and around Belito. Opportunities exist for strip malls in regions such as Mapumulo and Duedwe, anchored by low-cost and budget stores. On the international sporting front, Zakumi, the Soccer World Cup 2010 mascot, originates in Ilembe, along with the production of a large number of 2010 souvenirs made at the Albert Lutwili Center at Krautville through the Guasiza Bantu project. Public and private partners are invited to participate in the development of Ilembe. Current opportunities exist in tourism, agriculture, manufacturing, ICT, infrastructure. Ilembe District Municipality, one of South Africa's emerging economic giants, invites you to come and play. <laughs>